My name is Rachel Lyso. I'm an assistant professor here at Western Agriculture Research Center. So here at Western Ag we have alfalfa projects intended to inform alfalfa production for everyone from the homeowner to the commercial uh, alfalfa producer. We have some projects um, involving bagging apple fruit for the homeowner for codling moth control. We have some cider apple production trials comparing apple cider varieties. We have rootstock trials. One of the big questions we have in Montana is which apple rootstocks are the most suitable for our climate. It is very cold in Montana and um, occasionally we have tree dieback or tree death, which we attribute to rootstock um, inability to survive the cold winters. We also have some work going on to try to determine um, better ways to predict codling moth emergence and then working to take the information to enable better management of codling moth. I'm going to show you our codling moth trap in one of our apple trees here at Western Egg and talk a little bit about our codling moth projects. But first I'll start with showing you the trap. The trap is meant to attract and catch codling moths as they fly. Um, we usually use them early in the spring, but we've been monitoring them all season long. The trap contains a pheromone that draws the moths in and then they get stuck in the sticky material in the trap. And that gives us an idea of how big the codling moth population presently is. Generally speaking, if there's more than two codling moths caught in a trap overnight, you should be doing something to control them meaning spray for them. We have a larger project um, across the state. We've been working with local extension agents in multiple counties across Montana, placing these traps in orchards and trying to determine when codling moths first show up in the spring. And we are also then comparing that data to weather station information, which gives us an idea of temperature accumulation and the big picture is to try to determine if we can use weather-based models that use temperature information to just predict when codling moths emerge and when we have to spray for them as opposed to having to hang these traps and monitor them. We're trying to find a recommendation that growers across the state um, can use as far as just using weather-based codling moth emergence prediction. But we are just monitoring codling moths all season long here at Western Egg just out of curiosity is to see how much our treatments are impacting them and we're also curious to see and make sure they're still present because we have this little project with these um, baked fruit. This is a nylon footy, you can buy them online and the idea with this is just to keep cobbling moths from landing on fruit and laying their eggs on them. It's something that'd be suitable on a homeowner scale and we have a lot of um, people who grow backyard fruit in Montana and one of their biggest pests along with fire blight is these cobbling moths. It's a typical worm in the apple you would find um, when you're harvesting your fruit, but you need to put these socks on very early in the season when the fruit is about the size of your thumbnail if you want to prevent cobbling moths from laying their eggs and then burn into your fruit.